quarter of a million dollars. Well, we're still at the gathering of Victorian locomotives. Yes. We've been at the gathering for quite some time. Oh, there was a lot to see. <laughs> well, we got a lot of footage to, to show everybody. Uh, just so much fun and so many good things. But as we've been chasing locomotives and trains up and down, we keep spotting uh, interesting things. No kidding, there's just a lot of interesting things here. Uh, everywhere you look, and while most of the things that we're seeing are trains, right. we keep driving past things that have nothing to do with trains, but are nevertheless quite interesting. And since it's Tuesday, we thought we would go off on a tangent. And this is the tangent. Yes. <laughs> This is the oldest church in Colorado. Isn't that something? Wow. And it's right there in Antonito. And uh, there's a sign as you're pulling in and out of town. It says oldest church in Colorado. So we thought we'd come over here and take a look. Right. And uh, it didn't disappoint. No, it is a beautiful building. Beautiful church. It's got a, a long and illustrious history. It was built in 1863. Wow. Or they started it in 1863 anyway. And it's been through a whole bunch of, uh, of variations. Right. Well, it, it burned down. Oh, that seems to happen to a lot of churches. It burned down on Ash Wednesday, of oh. all things, in 1927. Oh. But fortunately, they put it right back up. They did. And um, redid the stained glass and completely rebuilt it. And then they even decided to add on to it and add the bell towers in 1948. So it's, uh, while it's the oldest church, it's, uh, it occupies that same space and parts of it are the oldest church, but then parts of it are not the oldest church. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. And at the other end of town mm -hmm. <laughs> is another old church. Right. Actually, this church is in uh, La, La Masitas. Yes, La Masitas. And it's the San Isidro. San Isidro. Sa mm. San Isidro Church. Uh, it's not in really good repair, but check it out. They're still using it. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and why not? And this one burned in 1975. Yeah, so really not that long ago. No. It was built in 1878, so it almost made it to its 100th birthday. Right. But they have chosen to just leave it like this. Right. And, uh, and yet continue to use it. Right, they still meet here. They still meet here, so uh, I think that's really cool. It is. Now this is a picture of what it looked like just before it caught fire. Oh, it's a beautiful building. Yeah, great old building, very, very much like the other one. Typical of a lot of churches of this era. Yeah, uh, it makes sense that they would be quite similar and they were related to each other. Right. While they're quite close together, one has to keep in mind how difficult it was getting around, uh, especially before the railroad got here. Right. I think each community had its churches. And these were, uh, in spite of the fact they're very close together, they were actually about a day's ride from each other. Right. And so that necessitated having two churches. Right. Well, let's get back to what we came to do, and that's mess around with trains. True. It's just all part of the whole vista and scenery of this area. It's a, it's a time travel. It and, is, for sure. And sort of a spiritual experience. Right. No matter how you slice it. Yes, beautiful area. Beautiful, beautiful area. Well, anyway, we'll be back on Sunday. Yes. And we'll, guess what? We'll still be at the gathering of Victorian yes. locomotives. Yes, lots to see here. <laughs> So, as always, we hope we didn't bore you, and we will see you on Sunday. Yep.